So we have seen in the previous video that the page table is the data structure that maps the page number of the process to the frame number within the physical memory. Hence the page table maps the logical address to the physical address. Now how to implement the page table? The simplest way is to implement the page table as a set of registers. This method is very fast but the problem is for each context switch we have to reload all the registers with the page table entries of the proper process to be executed. Thus it will increase the context switch time and if the context switches are more frequent it will affect the performance of the system. And the second problem is this method can be used only if the size of the page table is small, only if the page table is small, but in most cases the page table is very large. Hence the solution is we keep the page table in the main memory itself. So in our page table, the page number will act as an index and each entry contains the frame to which the page number page is loaded so the cpu is thinking that the process is loaded to an address space starting from zero and the page number is calculated from zero onward and the index starts from zero zero one two three and so on now when we load this page table to the main memory at a particular address location for example we are loading this page table of process p1 to an address 2000 then the index 0 becomes 2000, 1 becomes 2001, 2 becomes 2002 and so on. Thus at the base address we contain the frame to which page 0 is loaded and at the location base address plus 1 we have the frame to which page 1 is loaded and at the address base address plus 2 we have the frame to which page 2 is loaded and here base address plus 3 here we have the mapping information of page number 3 now the process is loaded to the main memory and the page table of the process is also loaded to the main memory and assume that now the context switch occurred and the process p1 is to be executed next then we load one register called page table base register with the base address of the page table of this process and the base address here is 2000 the value will be loaded to the page table base register now the process is under execution cpu is generating the logical addresses assume that in the logical address generated the page number in which the byte or the word is residing is page number 2. Now how to find out the frame to which this page number is mapped? For that we should add the page number with the content of the page table base register to get the memory location containing the frame to which the page, is, the page number 2 is mapped. So here page number is 2, the base table the base register contains the value 2000, 2000 plus 2 is 2002, hence this memory location contains the frame to which this page number is mapped and the frame is frame number 1. We got the frame number, frame number appended with the offset, we got the physical address, then we can access the byte within the process. So here the advantage is. For each context switch, we have to reload the value of only one register, that is the page table base register. Hence, it will not increase the context switch time. But for accessing a byte within the process, here we require two memory access. One for accessing the page table and getting the frame number and second to access the byte within the process. Thus, two memory accesses are required. The, even though the context switch time is decreased, the memory access time is increased. So by keeping the page table in the main memory, how can we reduce the memory access time? For that, 
We keep one cache for the space table called the TLB or Translation Look Aside Buffer. TLB is a hardware cache for the page table and it is small and contains few entries of the page table. Some of the entries, some of the page frame mappings within the page table are kept in the TLB and it is fast because it uses associative mapping that is given a page number it will compare with every page number present in the TLB simultaneously and if a match is found it is called TLB hit. Thus we can obtain the frame number from the TLB itself. We can happen with the offset to obtain the physical address and can access the byte within the process. Hence here only one memory access is required. And if the page number is not found in the TLB, then it is called a TLB miss. In that case, we have to go to the main memory itself to access the page table and get the frame number from there to get the absolute ad to the physical address and access the byte within the process. So if the page number is found in the TLB, we require one memory access and if not found, we require two memory access. And the fact is TLB is based on the principle of locality of a reference. That is, if a particular byte is accessed now, then which all bytes are more likely to be accessed next? Or which all bytes are more frequently accessed? Such page frame mappings corresponding to such bytes are kept in the TLB. Hence, in most cases, it will be a hit because it uses the principle of locality of reference for example let the logical address generated by cpu is 0 1 1 0 assume that the first two bit represents the page number now with this page number we go to the page uh, we go to the translation look aside buffer and compare with every page number present in it here the tlb is empty hence we have to go to the main memory itself to get the pay access the page table and get the corresponding frame number. Assume that the frame number to which this page number is mapped is 6. Hence page number 1 is mapped to 6. We got the absolute address and we can access the byte within the process. So here we require to memory access. But this time we make an entry, we add an entry to the TLB that the page number 1 is mapped to frame number 6. Now if the current byte is 0110 then most probably the next byte in most cases the bytes are accessed sequentially hence the next byte will be 0111. The suppose if the next byte which is accessed is of logical address 0111 then we have the page number as 1. With that page number we go to the TLB and we can see that the page number is found. Thus it is a TLB hit we can access the frame number from there itself and can access the byte within the process. We need not go to the page table. We need not go to the memory to access the page table. And as the process goes on, the TLB will be full. All entries in the TLB will get filled. Then one entry should be chosen uh, to replace. And it's the task of the operating system to select the proper replacement policy for replacing an, an entry in the TLB.